during this contest for leadership, uh, uh, Mr. Ishiba, who is uh, Mr. Suga's primary opponent, has actually talked a lot about um, improving ties with Asian countries. And, and he, he, you know, the focus of Mr. Ishiba is actually on South Korea. And he keeps saying that uh, Japan should actually improve ties with South Korea and get to know South Korea better, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so um, Mr. Suga, on the other hand, has been mm, relatively quiet, but I suspect that he will try to do most of the things that Abe has done. And I, um, in terms of uh, foreign policy, I think Abe has done a splendid job. He has tried to maintain, um, you know, he is a staunch, staunch supporter of the U.S.-Japan Security Alliance, but at the same time, he has tried to keep uh, relations with uh, China cordial. Uh, despite coming to, you know, when he came to power in 2012, uh, China-Japan relations was not very good, but Abe has managed to steer it and gave it some stability. And I think Suga would actually want to continue doing this. Um, Suga has been implementing uh, Abe's or helping Abe to implement his policy for a long, foreign policy for a long time. I don't think it, he's going to see a major departure. I think he's going to try and continue to work on a peace treaty with Russia. He's going to try and um, improve relations with um, uh, China. He's going to try and get the kidnapped nationals from uh, North Korea back, and he's going to try and do something for to revise the constitution. So um, in terms of foreign policy, likely in the same direction as Abe. Victor, just before we let you go, I think it's unsurprising that uh, he would be looking to improve relations with South Korea. As uh, you mentioned, he's been a big proponent of that U.S. security um, relationship with Japan. And frankly, from the conversations that I just had over the last couple of weeks in Washington, um, it seems to me as if both state and the Pentagon are moving forward um, with those ties, trying to strengthen those ties. Is there any chance that we see a difference between one administration and potentially a Biden administration? Uh, I think largely the uh, both the Democrats and the uh, Republicans are, are similar, even though they might use different language and say that they have uh, dif uh, differences. I think uh, I, regardless of who comes to power, whether it's Biden or Trump, uh, the U.S. foreign policy establishment will seek to strengthen the alliance with uh, Japan. I don't think there's going to be a deviation from that. And the reason is because uh, both the Re Democrats and the Republicans agree that the principal uh, strategic competitor for Japan and for the United States uh, is actually uh, China. So, you know, they will want to see the alliance uh, strengthened going forward and they will try to bring in Japan, uh, sorry, to try to bring in India and bring in other allies like uh, New Zealand and Australia to try you know, to strengthen the alliance to, in order to, uh, if you like, manage China.